got four right over here. Here the prize for the contest you. Yeah, here we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your patience. Who needs a little bit more? Yeah, we got four Cubano all day. It's not like the movie. It's not yeah. like the movie Chef at all. At all. For, for anybody out there who knows that movie about the food truck with Don Favreau. But. It is um, the most interesting food experiences, good and bad, that you can ever oh, yeah. have. worked around each other in some very small places, uh, including a food truck that was 12 feet long and three feet wide. <laughs> Resting smiles. Comfort food or mother, what your mom would cook you from around the world. So it was the equivalent of almost like a Korean rice bowl that had braised pork and cilantro skin and sauce and then there was one kind of built around um, Latin food mm -hmm. which uh, you know in a food truck it's always a little bit you don't do composed plates like you do um, in a restaurant but you know American classic grilled cheese with tomato the, soup the classic meatloaf burger sandwich meatloaf thing. sandwich with barbecue um, sauce and we worked in a market where a lot of the food trucks went on a local business thing. They would park in front of a, an office building and one day a week it would be a different truck or every day of the week it would be a different truck. So having the kind of variety that we had on the truck. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we also sourced locally and tried to do as much organic and local as we could. Yeah, we were the only truck that yeah, was we were dedicated to that farmer driven. We've been to places where um, you almost can't believe that you're in that instance. <laughs> and then we've been in places where it's, you know, it's so cold that the inside of the windows are frosting um, because it's an old FedEx truck not built with insulation. So when it's cold outside, yeah. it's cold inside. Really crazy thing yeah. is, is, you know, food trucks get the new, I, don't, I guess it's not a new trend anymore, but food trucks getting tapped to do uh, bigger caterings. Weddings and, and stuff. What people. Festivals how you just kind of break that expectation. We were doing some amazing plated food yeah. off of a food truck and people were going, wow, this is better than the stuff I get in a restaurant. Um, yeah, particularly for weddings. Yeah. Because we had, you know, we were restaurant chefs, which is different. A lot of people who started food trucks at the beginning were not necessarily restaurant chefs. They were people who had an idea they wanted to do it, but and they did good stuff, but they didn't necessarily have uh, the background to do more elaborate things. Yeah. So, it's amazing yeah, we did a little what you bit can of do off of a flat top and a few steam wells. Yeah. <laughs> Here is to a talk with two chefs. Don't oh, make me laugh. <laughs> I just immediately turn to the camera each time and look at her. Yeah, look at the camera. Maybe we should just... Uh, Big sisters watching. <laughs> should we have product placement? Yeah. Yeah. The self enclosure, <laughs> absolutely. It's the wave of the future. Do people do Good that job, Ryan. Yeah. People do that with bottles of wine. Good job. I use it's a, a roll hot flat day, bread. so we 